All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and welcome back to another episode of the OK Watch Let's Play Blind. If you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we just went head on into here into the construction site with our tag along partner of Comasons, and uh, it's pretty nice. We already do have the medallion, but we don't have to go really worry about having to go and try to add him onto the team because he's just going to be tagging along with us anyways here, since this is going to be the main part of the story that is happening with our time of this game. Uh, but however, uh, if you guys do also see, I am now finally here on the third floor, and uh, we're just gonna have to go and run into our time to figure out where Kyubi is gonna be at and uh, I think we should probably be here within our time because this is uh, from what I have been gathering around that this is gonna be potentially the last floor that we do need to be heading up around it to uh, there is a a rank area so we have to go and head back over to that at some point when we do get ourselves with the a rank there's also an s rank area as well too so we'll have to go and check around with that as well uh, but however if you guys do want to go and see our team uh, so far our team is actually looking pretty nice I did do a little bit of some off record uh, training alongside my way as well uh there is those blockade type of uh, yokais out here so if you ever do want to get yourself like with any type of like 500 exp uh make sure to go and do that because that will really help you out quite a bit uh just so they can be able to reach all the way up into that level 20 range if you want to uh now if you guys do recall uh at some point uh i will have to go and battle out with snarl because i wouldn't mind trying to uh see if I can get him alongside within our team uh, but you have to make sure that your guy is like at least a little bit over the level 25 range but we are getting very close to that uh, but however let's go ahead on into this way though and uh, let's see what's gonna happen and I think we just figured out where QB is gonna be we found him oh no well there he is it's QB well 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 if it isn't the weak little scaredy cat Komasan I'm surprised they made it all the way up here it must be really hard going all the way up those flights just holding each other well, so you want something from me, is that right? Well, we want to know uh, why you were trying to scare people over at Flower Road. Why would you go and put a curse on a place like that? So rude. See, this is why I can never go and have any children. Because accusing me uh, when you just understand nothing is quite comical, actually. Especially when you led, uh, when I led you uh, right to the real culprit. Now, off recording, you guys didn't get to go and see, but there was a strange type of weird yokai that was just showing up here, and he was really huge. Uh, but I guess we're going to go and actually go and see him, uh, who this actual guy is going to be all about. So you want to go protect Springdale, right? Well, go for it, kid. Well, let's see who this guy is all about, huh? Oh boy, well there is Massifist here. This is what our boss is going to be all about. Now, from what I've seen, like I guess how this boss is going to somewhat work, it looks like we have to go and try to hit his exposed points, which those are going to probably be his eyes and probably the forehead, which that has that big, huge, uh, gigantic star that's there. So let's see how well we can go and do around with this, and we'll try our best. So we're just going to go have to uh, pinpoint the eyeballs here if we can, if I'm lucky enough. Ouch, that did a lot of damage right there. Okay, so let's go and light up here with uh, with our guy, with Badian. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, so basically, oh, I guess we should have probably waited a little bit for that. But hey, either way, that's all right. So now one part of his eye is uh, slightly closed, but we can go and try to hit it if we can. There we go. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to heal up on cause for a quick second. All right, so it looks like all we have left now is just to go and uh, light up for the head that's going to be there. So let's go and directly hit that part. And hopefully that does quite a bit of damage. Now, from what I have been seeing, um, like, so far within this boss is that it's not technically all that too difficult. Um, so I'll see if, uh, if that's going to be uh, true or not. But there is a wisp for us, though. So we'll just have to make sure to go and grab that while we're doing this boss yokai battle. And yes, I know I'm going to make sure to go and pinpoint all these different uh, uh, type of wisps as I can. So I'm going to make sure that is what we're going to have to go and do here. All right, so let's go and spin around out here with Alola Trainer Koa. And we'll make sure that we can get ourselves with another, uh, with another special attack if we can. All right, so let's lock and load there. And we may possibly switch it to the other group of team that I may probably have to do a little bit later. 
Okay, so let's go and target the eye if we can. There we are. That works out well. Okay, yeah, let's go into the other one. All right, so we're going to go and bring out with Ryu. Uh, reunite, because uh, Reunite is going to be really helpful if we can. Uh, when we go and uh, start using a special. There we are. Okay, so nice last time. Let's go! All right, not too shabby there. Nice, so that got the other eyeball. Now we can just go right for the forehead if we can. Ugh. Nice, it actually missed because we went at close to his eyeballs there. That's actually going to be really helpful. So, uh, so it looks like if I go and hit his eyes there, it, it looks like uh, I don't really have to go and uh, really worry about getting hit all that too much. So let me just go and just spin around again. And let's go and light this guy up as well with our pointy uh, toothpick rainfall. Let's do it. Oh, wow. That's a lot of nice good uh, attacking right there. Okay. And then we'll also go for Dimmy as well. Just make sure that we also go and charge him up. There we are. Let's see how much that's going to do to all of, uh, all of his body parts there. All right, so let's go and close up another eyeball. That'll work out well. Uh, let's see. Why cola? Uh, I don't know. Is that going to do anything? Well, we'll go and throw on this one. I don't know if that's going to do uh, a lot to the soul meter to bring that back up. Oh, uh, somewhat. So we'll just have to just slowly wait until we get ourselves another power up at least. Come on, at least just close out the eye if we can. Just gonna go and do one more here. There. Oh no, I guess he's gonna get powered up. That doesn't look good. Oh, nice! Wow, okay. I thought he was gonna go and power up and do his charge attack move there or something, but I guess not. Oh. Oh no, he's starting to heal up himself a little bit. We'll try to make sure not to go and do that. Okay. Let's throw that down as well. Okay, I think we're now powered up to go and do our, uh, our ultimate attack. Alright, come on. Oh no! SEC Davy! Oh, God. That was a bad idea. Come on, guys. Just close up the eyeball if you can. That'll work out very well. Nice, thank you. Okay, now we can do it. Let's go ahead and tap on this again, and we'll make sure that he does not try to hit us anymore. Uh-oh. Nice, so it missed. And we'll go for the Night Slash attack. Let's go! Nice, 107. Perfect. Okay, and let's go ahead and directly hit the top part of his head there. And... Let's see, do we have anything that's very good? Yeah, some sandwich. Eat up the sandwich. Almost close. Oh no! Uh, silver. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we're there. If we can at least just stay alive. Okay, do you see me? Hit him right there. Nice. And come on, SEC Davy. Do the last and final hit if you can. Oh no. Oh jeez. Can I still land a move or not? That would not be good. There we go. That fight takes care of it. Nice. Thank you, Lucario, for the last hit right there. And with that being said in mind, Massifist is down and out. And we got ourselves with a W. Wow. So just make sure to go and hit those eyeballs, because that will help you out big time. Oh, look at that. Nice. Well, we got ourselves all the way up to 2,320 experience points. Uh, just from that extra little bit of uh, that wish right there. And we also got ourselves with a Brute Bracer as well. We should probably go and maybe give that over towards to a Badian or something. Now, um, apparently from what I did here is that there's a way that we can actually go and uh, change around with our different, like, attributes with our... Or, or I, 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 
what's it called? Attributes or attitudes? I can't really remember what it's known as, but we could do it with uh, either or of those. And uh, you can actually uh, change like from like uh, bad neon uh, in from like not being like a charm tribe, but into like more of like a more of like a toughen up type of tribe. It's just so that we could go and make them more rougher, which I think that would be a little bit nicer since he kind of likes to do a, a little bit more uh, heavy hitting than normal. So luring you here was just the right idea. So after all, I'm just so smart. Thought that masochist had you there for a second, huh? Well, QB uh, just completely took advantage of us. Huh? How so? So how can someone uh, explain to me about what the heck is going on? Well, he let us out here so that we can go defeat the giant yokai for him. Nothing escapes the old pasty face floaty one. My face isn't pasty. I like to think that myself as ivory cop... Uh, I, I don't really know how you pronounce that word. Uh, but the fire that uh, Flower Road uh, was uh, actually all my work, but not for another yokai. Uh, but uh, this may uh, come as a surprise to you, but I love living here. But I will continue my guardian duties until that you learn the truth. And I'll be cheering you on from afar. Hmm. So, was that good or bad? I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know either. But I guess we'll probably have to be battling out with QB out here at, at least at some point soon, right? Well, I, for one, I am completely unsatisfied, but at least we're safe. But what do you think about QB meant by uh, learn the truth? Well, I guess that's our homework from now on, huh? Uh, well, I want to thank you for taking me along, so can we be friends? We're already friends, Komasan. Yeah, we already been through all the good and bad things together. After all, you showed QB that you're not a scaredy cat, and not totally anyways. Yeah, QB uh, shouldn't give you any more troubles now. Well, thank you so much, Prox. I'm so happy. We can all stop crying now. Oh, <laughs> such an adorable guy. But anyways, we have that to be continued, and I think with that being said, in mind, let's just go and hit that save button there, and uh, we'll dive into the next up and coming chapter. But I know it's not going to be chapter 10 just yet, I don't even think so, because uh, that is when we have to go and uh, find the one special uh, yokai that will help out with uh, Shogunyan, and that's going to be with Draggy. So you're up early today, Prox, so, yeah, i probably say that we go and hang out today. Now, we are, of course, going to be doing Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if I already said that before within this video for today, but uh, if you guys haven't wanted to check that with the uh, latest other video, we just wanted just a Kirby Epic Yarn, which that was really nice, coming back to uh, another fun series with that. And not only that as well, too, but hopefully you guys did also go and check out with the Dreadlock. Uh, that happened a little while back as well, because uh, we are bringing that series back once again, and I'm finally happy that uh, that is going to be uh, showcased back up here onto the channel once more. I know, it's been like a long time coming for like another Dreadlock series to be happening for another episode. Okay, and I think, you know what, we should probably kind of end things off here on a little bit of a short note out here for today. Because unfortunately for me, I kind of have to go and leave to, to be going off to somewhere uh, later on for today. So I can't really go and stick around out here with this episode for too, too long. But I will be seeing you guys in the next one. And of course, peace.